Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm back with another next video. Feel free to skip around the video using the chapter markers below in the description. Let's get into it. So the dust has kinda settled after a flurry of player movement in free agency and we finally addressed our weakness at the guard playmaker position with not one but two very good signings. Campbell Walker, MSG legend, who can forget his magical run with UConn in 2011. And Evan Fournier, outstanding French guard who has really come into his own in the NBA and is poised to break out as a star. We know both can shoot the three ball and get buckets. So let's take a look at their playmaking skills. The two of them actually played some games together last season on the Celtics and have pretty good chemistry, which we'll see here. So here we see Tatum swings the ball to Kemba in the left corner. He drives and he finds a cutting Fournier for the easy layup. Right? As always, you cut when your defender is looking at the ball. So on this next one, now we see the ball being passed to the right corner. They swing it around and Campbell shows a willingness to move the ball here. Right? He makes the extra pass. All right, to Fournier who nails a three from the left wing. So on this next one, we see Kemba right here, right, involved in the pick and roll action. All right, he shows his defensive IQ by rotating to steal the pass, and then in transition he sets up his teammate who's trailing, right, in rhythm for transition three. Good stuff. So here we see Campbell with the ball right here. Alright. His teammate comes to set a screen. He splits the pick and roll, collapses the defense, and finds Edwards open for a three on the left wing. Now on this next one, right, the bread and butter of any good point guard. Right here, he receives the ball on a handoff. Right, he makes the early pass right to the rolling big man for the easy layup. Right here, Kemba has the ball up top. He gets a screen, right, and he shows a willingness to set screens for his teammate to get open off the dribble. Right, so he executes a dribble handoff with Brown, sets a screen on Fournier. And then Brown gets open for the three. So let's look at Fournier now. Fournier plays a little differently when he's not playing for his country. He has more of a get teammates involved mindset. Right? So here, off the double screen, off the double screen action, he makes a great read and finds Tatum open at the wing for the three. Right, on this next one, he gets the ball in the corner, immediately he swings it to the wide open man, right? Again, shows the willingness to make the extra pass, right? Williams is the three. So here, on this next one, he's here on the left wing, alright, he's gonna move the ball, and then he's gonna get a flare screen from Vucevic. Alright, two guys go to him, makes the great read, finds Vucevic for the open three. So here, on this next one, the ball gets swung around. Alright, Smart passes the ball off the hit fake, he drives and he notices right, Robert Williams is wide open underneath, He's, he has his man behind him so he throws an easy lob to him, right? So all in all, we actually got two very smart and unselfish playmakers. Imagine those lobs going to Mitch. Swing passes going to Randall, RJ, spotting up for three of the pick and pop or collect or off collapsing 
the defense. Not to forget, both are actually pretty decent 3 point shooters themselves. We would have so much better spacing and playmaking, something we did not have when Alfred Payton was running the point. So there you have it. Drop a comment down below. What are, what are the different lineups you like to see Camber and Fournier in? Like, subscribe for more future content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.